Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the different routes you can take to gain admission into the University of the West Indies Medical School, as well as the different admissions requirements. If you are new to my channel, a special welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. My name is Adun Oluren and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of the West Indies. Of course, I have gained admission into medical school and so have dozens of my classmates and friends. So I'm pretty familiar with what we did and some of the unique paths that we took before getting accepted into medical school. But as you know, admissions can still get pretty subjective and vary person to person because there are so many different variables and stats that go into your overall admissions file. So I want to try to share the official and objective admissions requirements as stated by the UE. So without further ado, let's get started. So there are three major routes that you can take before gaining admission into medical school at the University of the West Indies. Some people go to med school right after high school. Some people do what we call a preliminary year at UE and then go to medical school. And some people go and complete a full first degree prior to applying to medical school. So we'll discuss all three routes right now. So the first route is straight out of high school. So this route is mainly for students whose countries offer CAPE or A-level examinations. So this route requires that you have five CSEC subjects with scores one through three, or five GCE O-levels or BGCSEs with grades A through C in the subjects chemistry, biology, physics, math, and English language. The second requirement for this route is what is usually the kicker for my fellow Bahamians. This route requires that you also have three double units of CAPE examinations or three A-level examinations in chemistry, biology, and one other subject. So to summarize route one, you would be needing those CSEC slash GCE O-level slash BGC exams, and you will be needing those CAPE slash A-level exams. So if you are a resident of a country who does not offer CAPE or A-level exams, then this would rule you out of this route, but don't worry, the second route is an option for you. So the second route is through completing an introduction slash preliminary year in UE's science and technology program. So this route is mainly for students who have not taken CAPE exams but still want to gain admission into medical school without completing a full first degree beforehand. This route requires that you complete UE introductory year in science and technology where you would sit courses in chemistry, biology, and one other subject. It is said that that one other subject must be physics if you haven't already completed physics at the C SEG, GCE, BGCSE level. So basically, you can duck physics. So for this route, it is said that your GPA for that year must be a cumulative GPA of over 3.5 in order to be accepted into the medicine program. So to summarize this second route, you would complete high school with your CSEC, GCE, or BGCSE subjects, and then go on to UE to do a preliminary year that you must complete with a high GPA. So if you didn't go the first or second route, you will most likely fit into this category, which is having obtained a first degree prior to applying to medical school. This route requires that you have completed your first degree at a university that the UE recognizes as a competitive university. You would also need to have a competitive GPA and you would have to have completed courses in chemistry, biology, and physics. If you have completed a SciTech degree at the University of the West Indies, that is, if you went beyond your prelim year in SciTech, you must have completed that program with a minimum of a lower second class honors to be considered for admission into the medical program. And lastly, if you have an associate's degree from an approved community college, 
then you must have a triple major associate's degree in biology, chemistry, and another subject with a minimum GPA of 3.5. So to summarize this third route, you can either complete a bachelor's degree complete with science courses, you can go ahead to complete the full SciTech program at UWE, or you can complete a triple major associate's degree. So UE does require that you have some other things going on. Of note, you must be 18 years old by the time you enter the medicine program. And some people say you must be 18 before December of your first year. You must also complete an autobiographical essay, which is basically the essay that explains why you want to become a physician. You must also complete a co-curricular form, which is basically a form that highlights all of the activities that you have done outside of your academic profile. Other things that UE requires of course are your transcripts and exam results and they do also ask for a police record, birth certificate and or passport. All links to the official UE Med Admissions Requirements web pages will be linked down in the description box so you can reference those if you'd like but I hope that this video was helpful and provided some clarity. If it has please give this video a big thumbs up but don't worry if you're still confused please feel free to shoot me an email my email is listed down in the description box as well or you can go ahead and dm me on instagram or you can of course just leave a comment down below go ahead and share this video with someone who you know wants to go to medical school and as always thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and if you have watched this far then please go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell also so that you can be notified each and every single time i post a video but again thank you guys so much and i hope to see you in my next video bye